I started under the wing of Heavy D. You know, he took he took notice to my talent. You know, I was always interested in music since a kid. You know, my pop's big, huge record collection collects every genre of music. And with that, you know, I was on a roll. So, like, at three years old, I'm playing 45s when my father goes to work. Oh, wow. then, mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and, and he comes home, he sees his 45s all over the place. So, like, <laughs> right, I, ain't even, right. <laughs> I ain't even put them joints back in the jacket. Or nothing. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> I know he was hurt. I, 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 I know was, he was, I was yeah. Don't scratch up yeah, my records now, terror, man. So you know, from that, it, it it went from you know we all come from from the Bronx. You know, have to everyone of all of us come from the Bronx, and we moved to Mount Vernon. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah, and we kind of planted our seeds there. You know, mm-hmm. and um, and he was actually trying to get on himself trying to make you know music make a record and everything had a distinctive voice and everything and so once have got on and became famous and then he just took me under his wing and was like yo you got something we're gonna bring it out of you let's go and, right. and that, that's how it happened and then you know i'm, I'm with marley marl at 15 years old <laughs> djing on the radio yeah yeah so 14 15 years old on the radio in new york DJing with Molly Ma, who's producer of the Juice Crew and I Big mean, Daddy uh, Payne and Biz Marquee, and I'm I'm 14, yeah. 15 with this man. Like, Yo, how did that feel? Know, how did like, that feel at 15 being it, like? It felt crazy because he was he turned out to be my favorite producer. Yeah, because I, I like funky beats, like funkiness. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not saying everyone else like Howie T, Teddy Riley. Those yeah. people I look up to too. Yeah, and they were funky too. But it was just something about I guess who Marley had. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool G Rap, Big Daddy King, Biz Marky, Master Ace, Roxanne Shantae. Mm. Um, mm. um, um, oh, uh, yeah, like that. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And and with that, it was just like, man. And then I always wanted to know, like, you know, be curious about who's who's the man behind the music. Yo, how yeah. you make that beat? How yeah. you did this? How you did that? I was asking mad questions. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, is that how you came up with like talking on your records, like the uh the uh, talking ad lib is from being around you know, Marley. Yeah. You know, what you know what's I can funny? kinda see you know what's, you know what's funny about that yeah. question? Yeah. Is that if you listen to old James Brown records, he was straight up yeah. talking. A- absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Pretty doubt. Much. And, and yeah. it'd be a hit. I, I used to play that joint every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even after sing, yeah. he could just be talking. And I'm like, yo, play that talking joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, was, well, I was a wild kid, man. I was, you That's know, dumb. I was, I was, I was advanced, man, with the music, man. Yeah. You know? And I and I met James Brown when I was seven years old. What? Oh my God! Oh, wow. so, <laughs> me and my younger brother, he came to the hood and performed in the hood, man. Oh, oh my God! God. So, yeah. What? That, man. Soul brother number one, man. My mom <laughs> took me backstage to meet him, man. Oh man, you had a buzz. Wow. Yeah, I had to hold my bladder for that. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> James Brown, God. Dang. 